Hey everyone, uh, just a little bit about recorders today. So, uh, first thing is first, we start with our left hand. So, which one is our left? Some of us know this automatically, some of this it takes a while to learn. If you write with your right hand, the recorder can be really confusing. So we have to start with our left hand because that is what goes on the top of the recorder, which is what we're starting with. So I'm going to show you my left hand here. Now my left hand looks like I'm raising my right hand on the video right now. This is my left hand. If I make this shape with my thumb and forefinger, it looks like an L to me. It looks backwards to you. If I do this, it looks correct to you, but it looks backwards to me. Okay. The important thing is, does it look right for me? Okay. So I need to use this hand because this is correct for me. That's my left hand. L for left. Okay. So even though it looks backwards on the screen, I'm using my left hand all the time. So I'm going to put my recorder into my left hand. I want to make sure that my thumb completely covers that back hole there. All right, you want to make sure that that thing is completely sealed. In fact, I'm going to push my thumb in and show you the circle. I don't know how well that shows up, but you can kind of see a circle in the middle of my thumb pad. That's where it needs to go. Not on the tip, because then it will squeak. Same thing with the finger. I'm going to lay my first finger over the first hole with the thumb pad, I'm sorry, with the finger pad, thumb pad and finger pad around that circle, and then I'm going to blow really gently. Okay, what's my right hand doing during all this? It's holding the bottom of the recorder. Notice my fingers are away from the holes so that I don't get the wrong notes. That way, when I'm blowing softly, my fingers are out of the way in the right hand, but my left hand can feel where those holes are. You should feel the, the complete circle underneath your finger pads. If you play piano, you might be tempted to curve your fingers, but you usually get squeaks when that happens. See? So, use your finger pads, and you'll get nice sounds. Now, we always have one finger, this finger, for B. Remember, B is the middle line of the staff. All of this is in your recorder karate book. A is the second space, okay, and G is the second line. Remember from this, every good boy does fine, or whichever other story you like, okay. So I'm going to use this and blow hot cross buns. that I am also using my tongue. When, when I use my tongue, I'm stopping the air for just a moment inside my mouth. You can do this too. You do it all the time. Anytime you say a word with D, that's exactly what you're doing. Okay, whether you say dog or dead or dilemma, anything that has a D in it, that's exactly what your tongue is doing. You just need to apply it to the recorder. So, instead of saying do, you're going to use the D part of it, and the rest of it is silent. I'm just saying D over and over again, okay? I'm just not using my voice, because if I use my voice, I get a weird sound. Which is interesting, but not good for playing. So, finger is important. Tonguing important, breath important. Don't blow loud. If you blow loud, you get squeaks really easy. That is not a pleasant sound. So, if you get squeaks, there are two possible reasons. There's a third one, but 95% of the time what happens is either your thumb and finger holes are not completely covered, or you're blowing too hard. Okay? Fix one or both of those things, and your squeaks should go away. Okay? Don't forget, on my website, 
all the accompaniments for recorder karate are on there. So if you'd like to have music to practice with, just click on that link and you can listen to that song play in the background. Then you can play your recorder along with some background music, which is really kind of cool. All right, see you in class.